Is your tummy very sensitive? And on and off after having a heavy meal or when you are stressed out, you feel that your stomach is bloated, there is a feeling of fullness, of distension in your abdomen, you are passing out a lot of wind and then there may be cramping kind of abdominal pains and you may feel like pooping more often than normal or you feel like pooping every time you eat something. If this is the case, then you might be suffering with the irritable bowel syndrome. It is a disease of the modern times and it is a functional kind of disease in which the gut function is affected and the contents of the gut are moving either too fast or too slow through the, respirator, uh, through the digestive system. When they are moving too fast, it can result in diarrhea. When it is moving too slow, it can cause constipation and sometimes there is an alteration of diarrhea and constipation. So, what happens in this? Uh, I'm Dr. Maria Matik and let us discuss all uh, the different scenarios of the irritable bowel syndrome because it is a life-limiting, horrid disease which you have to live with all through your life unless you change your diet, you change your lifestyle and you take your medicines as and when required. So, there is no known cause for it. But there are things that can be related, like people may have a genetic predisposition, uh, their immune function uh, may be uh, affecting them, or uh, there are uh, hormonal dysregulations, or uh, the microbes in the gut, the bacteria, the viruses, the uh, fungi, and uh, all the genes that are inside, their balance may be disturbed. The good versus bad may be disturbed. That balance may be tipped over. So there are no actual imaging techniques or uh, blood tests which can diagnose the disease. It is just a good history taking. But we do have some biomarkers uh, like the short chain fatty acids and the granins. Their quantity is increased in the stool. Then there may be excessive mucus also in the stool which can indicate that you are suffering with it. Uh, so how do you manage it? There is no cure for it. All you can do is prevent the flare-ups with the help of medicines and the changed diet and lifestyle. So what are the things that you have to do and what are the things that you don't have to do? First of all, have a regular uh, daily life routine. Sleep at the right time, uh, take at least 6 to 8 hours of sleep, then wake up at the right time. This disease is more present in the women than in the men and the age bracket is between 20 to 40 years. So all of us at that age group need 6 to 8 hours of sleep. Then we don't have to eat quickly. We have to take our time to eat. We have to chew the food very nicely so all the digestive juices get mixed up nicely and the digestion can be complete and proper. Uh, then there has to be uh, the eating timing. They have to be regular. Maintain a proper routine lifestyle. Uh, then we have to avoid fatty foods, too many spicy foods and too many highly processed foods. So what is good for you? Uh, the foods that will be helpful to you will be whole grains, will be white rice, will be eggs, yogurts and uh, fruits such as uh, the BBC, the bananas, the berries, all kinds of citrus fruits. They will be good for these people. And what you have to avoid? You have to avoid milk. You have to avoid uh, fruits which are very rich in sugars. Those are normally healthy fruits for the others. But people with this syndrome should not be having too much of that. Uh, those are the apples. Those are grapes. Those are uh, the cruciferous vegetables like the Brussels sprouts, broccoli, beans, peas. They can produce a lot of gas and is not healthy. Instead of milk, change it to yogurt that is healthy. Uh, then the sugar-free gums, they are also rich in sorbitol and xylitol and these are also not good for uh, people with the irritable bowel syndrome. Simply remember that don't take more than 3 portions of fruit in a day and 1 portion means about 80 grams of fruit. 
then uh, limit the caffeinated drinks not more than 3 cups of tea or coffee instead drink lots and lots of water that is the best drink to take avoid taking fizzy and carbonated drinks uh, they are not good for you then what else you can do uh, you have to practice mental uh, relaxation mental relaxation is a must because this is related to a stressful lifestyle so try putting in activities like a good yoga routine uh, be active do lots of exercise the physical workouts and the mental exercises to keep a balance with your body then probiotics are very very good for you Uh, you may at times need medication to control your diarrhea or vomiting but probiotics have seen to help a lot many people so what are actually probiotics they are the live yeast they are the live uh, bacterial organi- uh, organisms which are good for the health they are known as the healthy microbes the good microbes they maintain the balance in of uh, the flora in the intestine our gut is lined and is uh, you can say contaminated with lots and lots of bacteria viruses fungi genes etc but there is a balance between the good ones and the uh, bad ones so sometimes when you have had bacterial infections parasitic infections uh, then this balance can uh, tip out and these probiotics uh, can maintain that balance they are uh, present in yogurts they are present in yeasts and now the supplements are also available which can be taken in the breakfast with yogurt or they can be directly taken as the supplement so try using them for a month or so and check out and uh, try to overcome these problems which can make your life horrible and stay healthy assalamu alaikum inshallah we will meet again with another topic and in the next time we will do the differences between the irritable bowel syndrome and the irritable bowel disease thank you